Hello, this is H.C. Bailey. And I'm back. And welcome back, to, or welcome to Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3! The Bailey Brothers are back for another full LP of Seiken Densetsu 3. Yeah, he pulled me away from the Steam Sale games. <laughs> and uh, this time, we're going to be taking a totally different party through the game. It's going to be much more uh, magically inclined, so a lot of different uh, battle mechanics we're going to be going through. Some other things that I we didn't go through in the first LP going to be different. Uh, what is it? Uh, well, a different storyline. I mean, there's going to be some things that are going to be the same, but uh, well, you'll see how it unfolds. Different final boss, final dungeon. Different intros. Yeah, this one's my particularly uh, favorite final boss slash dungeon. Yeah, I will be honest, the final dungeon music is pretty kick-ass in this one. Probably my favorite of the three. I like the uh, sprite set particularly. It really flexes the uh, Super Ness's power. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't get much better than this. So yeah, just like I think every other mana game, the world is in trouble, I guess. Nuts. With, because mana is disappearing. Is that the storyline in every mana game? You've played more of them than I have. Uh, hmm. I don't think Children of Mana had one, although I, that's a void in my brain. Uh, I don't remember Legend of Mana, sorry. Hmm. Like, as far as I know, the mana tree just pops in, literally. Probably close to the end of the game. Yeah, I remember that. Like how they uh, remix the original Secret Romana theme for this one. Nice touch. Oh yeah, didn't quite notice that the first time around. Hard to beat the music for the Mana series. I wish they'd make more games, but then when they did, it... Well, from what I heard, they weren't so great. And you wish they didn't. Yeah. Oh well. Hey! Listen! Hey! Listen! Hey! Sh shut up! I'm leaving you behind. Yeah. Been playing Ocarina of Time 3D. At least from what I've seen so far, Navi doesn't seem nearly as, uh... What's the word? Persistent. Or assertive. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started on Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3! So for the Magically Inclined party, start a new game. I'm going to be using Hawk, just to show his intro first. And then Lise. Hawk and Lise are really good for support. And the focus character for this party will be Angela, the magician of the game. This is just one character shy of the uh, physical DPS powerhouse. Wait, what? Uh, and not Angela, uh, Lise, Hawk, and, uh, Kevin. Oh, yeah, that one's really good. That was one of the first parties I used. Yeah. I would prefer... Well, yeah, that is a pretty good party, but I like having sabers. Hmm. I didn't analyze the game a whole hell of a lot. Yeah, yeah. So, we're thieves. That's great. And we got Nico! That was the guy from Secret Romana, right? I thought this one was uh, Nikita. Well, yeah, but I mean in Secret Romana. Wasn't that Nico? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure I'm not mixing it up with uh, someone named Niku. We're not going there, viewers. We're not going there. Just... Yeah, my, my brother has not played that game, and he is very lucky to not have. Yeah. Let's just steal his treasure! Oh, too easy. How long, how long did he open that damn chest up? I'm just too used to uh, opening chest in Skyrim. Thank God we don't have to... Uh, what is it? Black pick to open this chest. I hate black picking. It's on the PC. I wish there was a way to uh, do the uh, 
pressure sensitivity that I think is on the uh, on a controller. Because pretty much whenever I lock pick in Skyrim on a keyboard, pretty much I have to go full throttle if I want to test the lock, and that usually results in a lot of broken picks. Yeah, yeah. And I haven't gotten around to getting the uh, unbreakable pick talent. It's kind of taking a side path until I can boost up my physical damage a lot more. So yeah, this is the only path where you actually get to see that guy in the house there that we stole the money from. If you're on any other path in the game or you don't go through Hawk's intro, then you, you never get to see him. She just mentions her husband and you never see the guy. Huh. Flame Con! Yeah, even my ears don't protect me. Or earbuds. I wonder who is she in relation to Flame Con? Is she like a lover or uh, an advisor or concubine? <laughs> That's one way of looking at it, maybe. You have a better vocabulary than I do. Eh. Though that wouldn't be very hard. <laughs> There's a girl in second grade I had a crush on when I was, or named Jessica, when I was in second grade. Well, then why is he a king? It's good to be the king. Yeah, I suppose so. wonder what his rank was before that. Oh, excuse me, princess. Oh, sorry, I said that two seconds before she slapped him. Well, let's go take a look around. But yeah, again, only in Hawk's Path do you get to explore Navarre Castle. You don't get to explore it on the other paths. Hmm. So, let's take a look around. I'm not going to explore absolutely everything, because this place is pretty big, but still. Thank you. But we will explore a lot of it. Let's see what's over here. Hmm, can't get through there. If there's a way to get through there, viewers, let me know, because... I don't think I know of a way to get in there. Hmm. See, can we go up here? Oh, we can. Okay, well, I don't want to go up there yet. Let's go exploring a little bit first. Nothing in that room. So much for avoiding dead ends. Yeah, I'm going to try to avoid the dead ends a little more in this LP. I'll see what I can do. I think all the soldiers outside say the same thing. Oh, hey, there's a guy in there. Hmm. Check that out. Well, yeah, when we're living in a desert. Hmm, reminds me of my other LP. The world is turning into a desert! And my brother hasn't played that one either. I have like 15 AAA titles I got on the Steam sale to play. It's gonna be a long, long time. Yeah. Yeah. I can't pass up the Grand Theft Auto series for 12 bucks. <laughs> Now let's see what's on down here. Oh, no, we can't do anything here. Fortunately, the game does kind of block you from going to certain areas, so you don't have to explore the entire castle. <laughs> kind of a strange place to build a castle in a desert right in a cave, but I suppose that would keep it cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Not that I would... No. Let's see what's down here before going up there. Uh, no, let's stay around here first. I remember I read a little weblog on... Uh... Some guys explored a, a early abandoned winery or something in the United States, and pretty much the entire thing was built into the side of a mountain, and it was all pretty much two, three layers underground, so all the wine could stay in there and be cool all year round, because they didn't have air conditioning. Right. So I guess we're going to be invading Rolante, Castle of the Amazon. Oh, 
Oh, okay, we'll take a look around. Hawk and Eagle. Yeah, that, that's very clever game. Hmm. Birds. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now there's nothing up there. That's just a dead end. I'm trying to find a way to get into that uh, room that we... that I told you about just a moment ago, Eurus. I know there's a way in. Well, you can see it, but you can't actually get in there. How's it going? Right, right. Okay. Uh, oh man. Oh, right, wait a minute, can this take me there? No, I guess not. Okay, well let's just move on with the plot then. I'll just tell you, in that room with the locked door that I told you guys about, uh, there's like a treasure trove in there, but we can't get to it. Let's go down here. Okay, let's go. What do you mean, the back room? Uh, you can't talk to him right there. Yeah, you gotta talk to him here for some reason. No! Seems normal to me. <laughs> no, no, you have to sit. Game? You have to say yes to continue with the plot. Yeah, maybe a little bit. And don't ever play, uh, New Vegas. <laughs> Why? You give the wrong answer, or a answer, they'll take pretty much anything you want. You can be as sarcastic as you want in that <laughs> game, and they'll take your word for it or whatever. Th that's not foreshadowing of any kind, Eagle, is it? Well, we gotta chase after him. Damn, that seeing that treasure trove is really bothering me now. How's it go? Nuts. It's like a step stool. Let's see. I think if I go down here, I can get to that room. Okay, here we go. Okay. If I go down here, I think there's an egg entrance right over here. There it is. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we can't... I don't think we can get in here. Huh. Didn't know about that. So, yeah, it's a secret passage! Can't use, like, a game gene or something to dodge your sprite down there? Uh, maybe, yeah, I don't know. Dude! Giggity. Okay, well, let's go after Eagle, then. They're not in the throne room. They are, uh... Oh, you know, there's pro I think there's, like, one guy who says something about... Uh, why are we collecting all this treasure? Aren't we supposed to give it to the poor? Or something like that. So, we're all good thieves. We're not just stealing from people for no good reason. Mm -hmm. Or at least before we were. Yeah, I would make a whole bunch of uh, Thieves Guild from Skyrim references, but I haven't done that quest line yet. I'm like, shit. Thank Sorry. you for knocking down my speaker. Sorry, viewers. Well, I hope you can still hear everything okay, viewers. It looks like it's okay. I'm still hearing everything. Yeah. Well, who's that guy? Funny. Quiet, Lenny. What, we listen to two lines and then we're like, Oh, they're doing something nefarious! Hm. I thought we were going to spy on them for a little while. Who are you? You're not going to tell us, are you? Well, what'd they do to him? What's going on? Turned him to a zombie. Made him purple! Nuts. Breathe, you idiot. You forgot to breathe again. <laughs> Nuts. So, yeah, we have to fight him now. Press the B button, or the A button, and you can attack. The nice thing about Hawk is that uh, he gets two hits per attack. Just like Kevin. Yeah, so just like Kevin, except not quite, as, not nearly as obscenely strong. It's actually remotely fair. Hawk and Kevin are the only two characters who get that ability. And coincidentally, they're pretty much some of the best characters in the game, if not yeah. the best. Hawk is more useful just because of his versatility. That's... Dead cat bounce. Huh? 
Well, I can just stamp her right then there. I was taking a coffee break. I'd make a Shaggy reference, but uh, I haven't listened to many of his songs. <laughs> it seems you're as oblivious as I am. Yep. Oh, well. What do you mean by that? Nuts. Better not be like Dragon Warrior 1. That was in Dragon Warrior 1, wasn't it? Or was that the belt? Or maybe both. I don't think I've ever gotten the cursed necklace in Dragon Warrior 1. It's pretty rare. Hmm. Maybe we can do it like, get out of here like in Chrono Trigger? No. No. Hmm, there's a slightly discolored area. Nothing we can do with that. Let's see. How do we get out of here? I think you just gotta bang on the bars enough times or something. I don't know. That's, that didn't work too well. Ow. What made that noise? Hmm. Oh. Let's see. Maybe it's a timed event? I forget the exact trigger. Ah, there we go. I guess we just have to bang on the bars enough times. How's it going? Say it ain't so, Hawk! Say it ain't so! <sighs> what? <laughs> I hate your terrible impressions. I don't even know what I'm referencing. That's... Wouldn't they be able to tell that he was burned to, de to death? Well, hmm, nothing we can do there. Question mark wall. Unless this is the worst prison ever! Which, apparently it is. Yeah, damn, uh, Brick not being resistant to explosives. And there's a secret passage behind the jail cell that leads us directly out of here. Right to her shop. His. Nuts. Ah, okay, so I guess we gotta go to Wendell next. Well, okay, let's get out of here then. Head on over there. We're not that far from Wendell. If you know, if you know the world map, I think this is like the eleventh time or twelfth time I've played the game, or something like that. But now we gotta get out of here, so I wouldn't even bother fighting these guys unless you have to. Let's just get out of here. Oh, there's no guard by that treasure there, and now we can just get through here real easy. Uh oh, ninjas! Fortunately, they're not as hard as they will be later in the game. Unfortunately, we do not gain experience from this, though. That's why I say don't worry about fighting them. It's too bad this music's playing, because I would think of the uh, escape theme from Assassin's Creed if, I, if it wasn't. Hm. I've been trying to get Henry to play, my brother to play that, whatever. <laughs> they know my name. Yeah, I know, force of habit. So, heck, they know my face now. Uh-oh. I wonder how long it's going to take for someone to walk up to me in real life and say, Hey, I know you! Now, as long as it's going to take for someone to Photoshop your face in an inappropriate way. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for giving them ideas. No problem. Hey, hey. Yeah, for some reason, Eagle's death just doesn't get me choked up, like, uh... Well, you know, I won't spoil the other path, but from, uh, other intros, let's put it that way. 
I want to make a comment on that, but I'm not sure if I can reference what I'm thinking of without spoiling it. In this game? No. Oh, well, you can spoil other games. Well, no, recently in my uh, Skyrim character, the Dark Brotherhood Path, I got surrounded by five wolves, and I killed them all pretty fast, but the last one graduated my character to a new level of, pardon my language, asshole. My character football kicked the dog, or wolf, in the jaw, and then proceeded to shank it in the head. <laughs> I, I was... I've seen a lot worse, worse death animations in that game. That one just kind of shocked me that I hadn't seen that in a while, or ever. <laughs> so but anyway... Whoop, go ahead. How are we taking a ship? We're in a desert. Well, I guess he must have gone to well, one of the towns. I don't think we can ever take a ship to uh, Navarre, though. Huh. Hmm. Well, there you go. Where are we, anyway? Jed. How's it going? Yeah, if you don't have Kevin as your main character, this makes a little more sense. But how is the invasion of Rolante going? Find out next time on Let's Play Seekin' Densetsu 3! I'm H.C. Bailey. And I'm JB. Signing off. Have a good day!